hello everyone welcome to another scratch tutorial in this video i will be showing you how you could create a 3d object like this in scratch using pen, pen extension so this is a demo you have a direction slider to simulate the object's direction as you can see this looks pretty much 3d so in today's video I will be showing you how you could do this using the pen extension. To create a new project and call it uh, project. Now let's create a new sprite. And let's call it 3D, 3D object. Let's create the first layer of our uh, 3D object. So I'm going to make the first layer as a square or uh, as a rectangle. Okay. And it's compulsory to have an outline so that the 3D uh, uh, effect works. Feel free to choose any color you like. And make sure to center your layers to the center. Now click this add extension block. And choose the pen. Now when the green flag is clicked, erase all. This basically erases every every uh, pen doing in the stage. Let me demonstrate how this 3D effect works. So repeat 10. Also before you do this, make sure the x is minus 128, the y also minus 128. This makes the object go here. Okay, so I repeat 10. Stamp. Change x by uh, x by 1. And change y by 1. Let's put this repeat 10, 10 as repeat 20. As you can see, it creates a little 3D effect here. Let's go in the beginning minus 28. Minus 28 okay. okay, now what we need to do is like we don't want to see this 3D effect rendering. We want to uh, be ready the moment we click the green flag. How do we do that? So let's create a new block and call it render 3d it would run without screen refresh this run without screen refresh makes whatever in this block run within a single screen refresh that means uh, it uh, it, uh, in, it runs it very fast put whatever under this go to x inside the block and put the render 3d under the array sort as you can see it renders now let's create a second layer so before we do that put this switch costume to layer 1 before this repeat block repeat loop sorry ok for the uh, layer 2 what i want is two small rectangles like this with a different color And a darker outline. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this 
and now center it as always right. now let's implement this in the code so duplicate this and then switch costume to layer 2 and then do the 3d process as you can see we have a 3d version of uh, our two small rectangles can add more objects like this, like a square. Uh, okay, the different color. We can even add a lighter outline if you want, like this. Okay, it's too big. Uh, Looks good. Let's add that. Great. Can even add a circle. Before adding a circle, I'll add another small rectangle. Only one now. layer 4 okay. you can even add a circle as I said earlier which will be layer 5 Now let's make it a little bit more to the center. So the starting position will be minus 32, minus 64, and y minus 64. Okay, this looks nice. Now let's add the direction slider as I told earlier. Name the variable as direction. Okay. Then right click the direction variable and choose slider. Now you get a slider. Okay. So then point in direction to the direction. To the value of the direction slider. Then in the beginning set the direction to 90. But now we have a problem. We can't change the like if we change the value of the direction slider, this does not update. There's a reason behind this. This renders only once. So it does not matter if we change this uh, or not. So there's an easy way we can solve this. Just add a forever loop here. This uh, erases and renders at the same time like forever so because of this it is able to uh, change its direction now um, we are limited to only 100 degrees what if we wanted to go more than that right click and change sl slider range and put the maximum value as 360 As you can see, works. Looks very nice. 
looks really as well. Now to make the game more fun, if you like, let's make it move. Create a new variable calling it x and y. So when green flag is clicked, if right arrow is pressed, change x by 1 and change and if left arrow is pressed, change x by minus 1 and when up arrow is pressed, change y by 1 down arrow is pressed change y by minus 1 and then let it, let's update that uh, to the 3d model okay so then to minus 64 plus x and for the y minus 64 plus y You can see it's able to move. You can even increase the speed if you want. It's able to change direction as well. Okay, so if you are facing this problem, like uh, the arrow keys are controlling your slider, then click out of the slider and it's able to move. So that. So now let's uh, one one last thing before we close this episode is suppose you have more layers. You, you are continuously have to duplicate these repeat loops. You can simply keep these repeat loops in one uh, block. Let's name this as 3D effect. And then let's add three inputs. One is repeat, one is X, one is Y. Put this here. Put the repeat block in the uh, repeat input in the repeat loop value. And then put the change x to ch change x by x input and change y by y input. So put this here. Uh, 3D effect 20 repeat 20. Change x by one. Change x by x bar input which is one change y by 1 okay. so it's all in one block now let's go ahead and delete these put this one block here let's do the same to all of them Okay, great. Let's see if this one works the same. Great. Uh, in the beginning, let's set the x to zero and the y to zero. So that it comes to the normal position. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something new. In the future tutorials, I may teach how to make games out of these 3D models, which is very fun. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the upcoming tutorial. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. Bye.